Okay, today's subject is one that I have a lot of pride for, and so it's a little bit longer uh, information, and it doesn't include half of what he's done in his life. But uh, here we go, Joe Biden. Okay, so Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is the 46th president of the United States of America. He's a Democrat. He was born on November 20th, 1942, and he's a Scorpio, just like me. And he was born at St. Mary's Hospital in Scranton, Pennsylvania, unlike me. He's the eldest child in a Catholic family, and he has a sister and two brothers. Now, Biden has a stutter, which he has improved since his early 20s. He reduced it, he says, by reciting poetry before a mirror as a young man. Uh, Biden's father had been wealthy, but around the time Biden was born, he suffered, the father suffered financial setbacks, and for several years, the family lived with Biden's maternal grandparents. Finally, by 1953, Biden Sr. became a successful uh, used car salesman, and uh, they maintained a middle-class uh, lifestyle. Now, in 1961, uh, Biden... Uh, Jr. You know, I want to talk about 1953, his dad. When Biden um, uh, became a, a presidential, vice presidential candidate, uh, his father um, resigned selling cars, said he did not want um, his son to be the, uh, his, his father to be a used car salesman. I don't know. By 1961, Biden Jr. played baseball and was a standout halfback and wide receiver on the high school football team. Though a poor student, he was class president in his junior and senior years, and he graduated. Now, 1965, Biden briefly played freshman football at the University of Delaware in Newark and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree with a double major in history and political science and a minor in English. Now, 1966, Biden married his first wife, Nelia Hunter. They had three children, Joseph R. Bo Biden III, Robert Hunter Biden, and Naomi Christina Amy uh, Biden. In 1968, Biden earned a Juris Doctor from Syracuse University of uh, College of Law. And then 1969, he was admitted to the Delaware Bar. In 1968, go back a year, he was given a conditional medical deferment due to asthma. Now, also in 1968, he clerked at a Wilmington law firm and thought of himself as a Republican, but registered as an independent because of his distaste for the Republican presidential candidate that year, Richard Nixon. Now, back to 1969, Biden practiced law as a public defender, but then privately at a firm uh, headed by a locally active uh, Democrat. And then also in 1969, uh, he subsequently registered as a Democrat. Now, by 1973 to 2009, um, he represented Delaware in the United States Senate. But to go back to 1972, a few weeks after the election, uh, Biden's wife, uh, to the United States Senate, Biden's wife, Nelia, and one-year-old daughter, Naomi, were killed in an automobile accident while Christmas shopping. Her station wagon was hit by a semi-trailer truck as she pulled out from an intersection. Uh, their sons, Bo and Hunter, who were three and two respectively survived, and Biden considered resigning the newly won Senate seat to care for his kids, but the Senate Majority Leader at that time, Mike Mansfield, persuaded him not to. Years later, Biden said he had heard that the truck driver allegedly drank alcohol before the collision. Uh, the driver's family denied that claim, and the police never substantiated it, and Biden later apologized to the family. The accident filled him with anger and religious doubt, and he wrote that he felt God had played a horrible trick on him, and he had ter terrible trouble focusing on work. Now, in 1968, he earned a law degree from Syracuse, U Syracuse University. In 1970, he was elected to the Newcastle uh, County Council. And in 1972, he, 1972, he became the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history after he was elected to the Delaware uh, Senate. 1975, he met teacher, second wife, met teacher Jill Tracy Jacobs on a blind date. And uh, Biden credits her with the renewal of his interest in politics and life. Uh, 1977, they were married. 1981, they had a daughter, Ashley Biden. And from 91, 1991 to 2008, Biden co-taught a seminar on constitutional law at Widener University School of Law. 1987 to 1995, he chaired, 1987 to 1995, okay, he chaired the Senate Judiciary uh, Committee. And Biden was reelected to the Senate six times and was the fourth most senior senator. 
For 12 years, Biden was the chair or ranking member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. 2008, he ran unsuccessfully for the Democratic presidential candidacy, but he became Obama's vice presidential candidate. 2009 to 2017, he served as the 47th vice president under Barack Obama. In 2020, uh, Biden and Kamala Harris defeated the incumbent. I don't want to say his name. You know who it was, number 45. And uh, as of right now, he is the second oldest elected president and the first to have a female vice president. And there's so much more uh, between 1987 and 2008. But, I mean, this would have gone on forever if I tried to list all of his uh, political um, um, credentials. So, let's get on to the divination. Okay, so I got these great cards. And if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So, these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, live and let die however uh, dolly's um, uh, price well, it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re-printed um, uh, these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail... I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the card. But I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark, and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. 
but um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in the in a reading and um, and enjoy that. And then, like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards, and then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, Joe and see what we can figure out here. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I thought I saw an upside down card in here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to ask, but I guess the most pressing question uh, could be, uh, will he serve a second term? Will he run for second term? He has said he will. Uh, let's do this. Let's say, will he finish his present term? Will Joe Biden finish his present term as uh, president? And then will he run for a second term? And um, I will leave it uh, in limbo as to whether he would win a second term. So let's say, will he will he uh, finish his term now as president? Tower card fell out. Will he finish his current term as president? And will he run for a second term? I really want to get these cards kind of mixed up because they're brand new. And uh, I want to make sure that they're really um, well integrated together. I've, I've mixed them up a lot already because I've been uh, playing with them and doing kind of practice readings with them uh, off camera uh, for a day or so. But uh, so will he will he finish his current term as president, and then will he um, win a second term? Will he finish his current term as president for the first six cards? Will he finish? his current term as president for the first six cards. Will Joe Biden finish his current term as president? Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're gonna set these aside for the last part. Will uh, These cards here will be, will Joe Biden finish his first term as president. Will Joe Biden finish his first term as president? The signifier card, okay, these cards are a little more difficult to interpret than some of the others, but you just have to look at them for a minute to get there. So what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of wands. So the eight of wands is typically a lot of issues. And if you look at this card very closely, you can see that these two folks here are embattled, okay? And I'm sure there's more uh, interesting information in here, like for instance, this, this book. I don't know how to interpret that right now, but for the Eight of Wands, that's typically, you know, a lot of issues coming at you at the same time. And you can see these two people here in battle. So the signifier card for this one, will he finish his second term, his first term, is that he, uh, there's a lot of issues to deal with coming at him. The, um, if, as if that's not a challenge enough, the challenge for that is going to be, ah, judgment. And so judgment, oh my goodness. Uh, I can mean a couple things. I mean, I'm thinking about his old age and his health, and does this mean that he will be called home to, to you know, will he, will he pass away? Judgment. So, yeah, it's also karmic balancing, so I don't know. But uh, So we've got a lot of issues coming at him as a signifier card, and then the challenge to that is judgment. And the question, of course, is will he finish his first his term as president? The uh, basis of this reading, then, is the high priestess and um, the high priestess. So the high priestess represents, you know, let me see, let me get a little cheat uh, going on here. And um, and that would be, wow. So it's like the empress, mother nature, abundance, harvest. The high priestess is all knowing. I mean, she stands here with a, a, a scroll of knowledge. Uh, she has all the secrets uh, under her cap. And um, so I don't know. So this is, this is the high priestess, 
as the basis of this uh, reading, which could uh, imbibe him with you know all the knowledge of a high priestess. The past of this reading then is going to be oh what is this one two three four okay the four of wands and the four of wands four of wands or four of swords this is going to be the four of swords the four of swords is needing to take a break and I would say that is pretty on point because I think this presidency is really taking a lot uh, out of him I believe so the sky of this reading is the um, the lovers so these are partnerships and um, I wonder if this is going to talk about his partnership, if this is referring to his partnership with uh, Kamala Harris. Huh. I don't know, because I'm asking, will he finish uh, his, uh, his term? And then the likely outcome of this, then, is ah, balance. Balance. Getting things balanced. So, if I'm going to try to give this some meaning before I take the last four, because the last four, I want to say, will he run for a second term? So he got the Eight of Wands, which is a lot of issues coming at him at the same time, embattled. Um, his uh, challenge to that is uh, judgment. And so that makes me think maybe he's going to be called home to the, the great beyond. Um, and the basis of this reading, uh, I think, um, labels him as a high priestess, the all-knowing, or it could refer to Kamala Harris. And then the um, past to this is uh, the Four Swords really needing to take a beat, take a break, before you uh, go too far, and maybe that's how he needs to conduct his entire presidency, is on a low pedal. And then in the sky, with the lovers, partnerships, and I'm really, the more I think about this, I'm thinking of Kamala Harris. And then the likely outcome is temperance, really getting a good balance here. So let's see about the last uh, four cards for this, because the last four cards, I'm asking the question, will he run for a second term? Will he run for a second term? The, the signifier of that, the self of that question, will Joe Biden run for a second term is ah you know what i always interpret this four of cups as being offered something that you really don't want oh that's very interesting something that you really don't want the um the uh environment that that's in however will he run for a second term again is justice well if this is judgment and this is justice so what is just i need to pull out my cheat card guys i'm very sorry about this so the uh 20 let me see, uh, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Illumination. So this is being spoken of as uh, the sun card. Oh, yes, I've got this completely wrong. This, ju this judgment here is an awakening, a renewal, a rebirth, the soul's purpose, an atonement. Okay, this, this makes a lot of difference then. So let's put these aside for just a second. Um, so if this uh, is then talking about uh, judgment, so it's an awakening, a rebirth, the soul's purpose. Okay, so we've got the, the uh, eight of wands here as a big challenge. The soul's purpose, ah, okay, this is interesting then. It's challenged by will he um, uh, finish his first his term as president, a lot of issues, and it's his soul's purpose. But then the uh, basis of this reading is the high priestess, which either to me means that he is uh, born to do this, he has the knowledge uh, over a lifetime to do this, or it could represent Kamala Harris, and now I'm a little off of that interpretation. The uh, past in this reading is then the four swords uh, really needing to take a break and, and not get up to, not move around too much too quickly at your peril. And then the uh, sky of that reading was uh, Partnerships, um, the Lover's Card of the Major Arcana, by the way. And we've got, how many Major Arcanas do we have here? One, two, three, and four Major Arcanas. Wow. Uh, partnerships. So this could represent the partnership with Kamala Harris, I think. And then the uh, likely outcome for all of this is temperance, getting a balance. In my mind, uh, I'm thinking that he may, uh, he, he, will he finish his first term? Will he finish his first term? Now I want to say that yes, he probably will, and he's got built into this a partnership, so that uh, so that Kamala Harris is ready and available to pick up if he needs to, and he's trying to strike the right balance for that. Now we come back to the self of this reading: Will he run for a second term? We've got here something that he really doesn't want to have, and it's um, in the environment of justice, and then justice as uh, in this case, and I'm going to use my cheat sheets right here to make sure I don't make another mistake. Uh, in these uh, interpretations is talking about a karmic balance so doesn't want it there needs to be a karmic balance the hopes and the fears for all of this then the hopes and the fears 
king of swords so that's the king of truth and action um and then the sky of this reading is going to be right here um okay that's happy family you know this is the ten of cups and this is uh, lots of abundance and i'm going to tell you this is what i think about this reading i believe that this first part of this is that he will finish his first term and but it will depend on a lot of balance with the partner he's made in his vice president that's what i believe um because in my opinion he wants to hand off his value uh to her in her because i'm sure uh yeah i think i, I think that that's what that's talking about then in the uh the self of this does it really want to run for a second time it all has to do with just justice and karma and then uh but he does come up as the king of swords and then he does come up as happy family so it could in fact mean that he runs as a second term and wins now will he finish the second term i'm not going to ask that right now so that was the reading for today so i'm sorry that was kind of convoluted reading but it's the first time with these cards and it's a subject that i'm so excited about so um but uh what we came here i said uh, the first part of that the first six cards is will he uh, uh run for a second term and what we got out of that was that there's lots of issues to deal with and that um you know there's some uh judgment uh in, involved in that okay um the base of that reading was the high priestess which i can say that's either his it's it's him with all the knowledge he's garnered over his lifetime or it's a reflection of his um relationship with kamala harris uh in the past of that reading was the four of uh, swords which means you know don't get up at your peril just take it easy and then the sky of that was partnerships again reference to kamala harris in my opinion and then the likely outcome of that was temperance which is a balance of, of those things uh then i said okay will uh, he run for a second term and I got something he doesn't really want which if it's something he doesn't really want uh, you can't want or not want something if you've already passed away so I think he's gonna make it through the first term and this is something he doesn't really want but then it's in the environment of justice and so to get justice uh, may mean that he does in fact have to run uh, he, then the hopes of the fears were the king of swords, which you know may indicate that he would be the winner. And then the uh, final outcome, in fact, is the ten of cups, which is you know happy family and, and everything, uh, you know wishes uh, fulfilled. So I think he'll finish, and I think he'll run. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.